Good morning, CICS Irving Park. Today is Wednesday, May 26th. I hope you all are having a great morning so far. And I am here to share a really exciting story for you today. Um, the book I'm reading today has a special meaning for me because it also is something that I am going through right now. The book I'm reading is called Our Teachers Having a Baby by Eve Bunting. Pictures by Diane de Grote. That's right, you heard it here. Miss Sparrow and Mr. Sparrow are expecting a baby. Whoa! Can't wait to read this book to see what we might learn. Our Teachers Having a Baby. teacher's having a baby, she told us today. Mike Hopkins frowns. But only mothers have babies. Teachers can be mothers too, Mrs. Neal says. Polly Gutierrez stares at Mrs. Neal. But when did your stomach get so big? Mrs. Neal blows out her cheeks to make herself funny fat all over. The, the ends of her hair quiver. She pulls her long shirt tight across her front. It has been getting this way for a while. You just didn't notice. Polly G rushes up and puts a sticker on Mrs. Neal's shirt, right on the stretched out part. It says, have a nice day. It's for the baby, Polly G explains. Soon, Mrs. Neal's shirt is a mess of stickers. At recess, Polly G and Janice D'Amato and I go in the corner of the playground to compare stomachs. Ours aren't very interesting. We all think it's great that Mrs. Neal is having a baby. Linda Chen's mom had a baby last year, and Kathy Kerr has twin baby sisters. But Mrs. Neal is our teacher, and that's different. Mrs. Neal reads us books about baby animals and how they get born. We go around the block on a nature walk to see the trees and plants. Everything that lives has been born, one way or the other. Mrs. Neal says. Mr. Blair, who teaches sixth grade, invites us into his room to visit their white rabbit, Fluffy. Fluffy has four baby bunnies. When the offspring get older, we each get to borrow one on weekends, a sixth grader boy tells us. He sounds very superior. I think offspring is a superior word for babies. Maybe you'll have four offspring, Mrs. Neal, Mike Hopkins says. Ooh, then we can borrow them on weekends. Mrs. Neal makes a face. Four? Give me a break, Mike. Don't worry, we're only having one. We write letters on our computer. Mine goes, Dear Baby, My name is Samantha. I'm the one who gave you the butterfly sticker. I hope you are well. Mrs. Neal saves the letters to give the baby later. We talk about names we like, and Mrs. Neal prints them on the blackboard. Should we be thinking of boys' names or girls' names? Janice D'Amato asks. Which kind of baby are you going to have? Mrs. Neal smiles. I don't know. It's more fun to be surprised. So why don't you give me a selection? We select daffodil, because daffodils come in the spring, and so will the baby in March. And Neal, because if it's a boy, Neil, Neil, would be very distinguished. We like abracadabra, too. That's the name of Mike Hopkins' boa constrictor. But when we say it together, the name rolls like a drum. Abracadabra! It's so nice. Every day in the music room, we walk in a circle and sing extra loud so the baby can hear. The king of France and 50,000 men marched up a hill and then marched down again. Mrs. Neal says the baby marches, too, inside of her. Does it tickle? Kathy Kerr asks. Mrs. Neal giggles. A little, but at least babies don't wear sneakers or boots. We're designing a baby room on our bulletin board. We cut out magazine pictures of a crib, a dresser, and a big rocking chair so Mrs. Neal can sit when she reads bedtime stories. She brought a calendar from home. We cross off the days till March and groan and moan. It's so hard to wait, Mrs. Neal groans and moans. So hard. 
Then one day in February, Mrs. Neal is not at school. The principal is in our room. We're excited and nervous. Did the baby get born? It's scary to ask the principal questions, but we have to know. Yes, he says, it came a little early. It's a girl. We whoop and clap and the principal doesn't even tell us to be quiet. Her name is Isabel, he says. Oh, well, we decide we like Isabel a lot. We decide Isabel Neal is very distinguished. In fact, we wish we would had selected it. The next day we get a substitute teacher. Her name is Mrs. Boxy and she's all right. She isn't, but she isn't our teacher. What if Mrs. Neal never comes back? Polly G's eyes are wide and frightened. We hadn't thought of that. She will, we say, she will. If we say it enough, I'm sure it'll happen. One Friday, we get a message. Mrs. Neal will come visit on Monday. She will bring Isabel. To visit, Polly G repeats, only to visit. Still, we're happy. On Monday, Miss Boxy has a hard time getting us to settle down. She helps us print a banner that says, welcome. We make baby drawings and pin them around the room. They're all called Isabel. They all have pop eyes and a corkscrew curl on top. <laughs> Mike Hopkins keeps peering out the window. Here they are, he yells at last. We crowd beside him. Mrs. Neal is carrying a pink baby basket that's stuck all over with our stickers. We swarm around her for a first glimpse. Wow, I say. She's exactly like our Isabel drawings. She yawns a big yawn, and that makes us laugh. Mike Hopkins is excited. The inside of her mouth looks just like abracadabras, except he has two fangs and she doesn't have any. We are so insulted, but Mrs. Neal giggles. Oh, Mike, I have missed you. Of course, he's the one who asks, will you ever be our teacher again? We all stand very quietly. Mrs. Neal looks at us and says, oh, it's as if she suddenly realized something. I need to be with my baby all the time for a while, she tells us, but then I can leave her with a sitter while I'm at school. I'll be back. You guys are important too. We were afraid, I begin. You were? I'm sorry. She smooths my bangs. I told you teachers can be mothers too. I should have told you mothers can be teachers too. I smile. I guess mothers can be anything. That's right, Samantha. Her voice is very soft. Now, would you like to take a closer look at Isabel? She lifts the baby up. Mrs. Neal, I say, you really do have beautiful offspring. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story, our teacher's having a baby. And just like Mrs. Neal, Miss Sparrow is also having a little baby girl. And she is coming this fall in September. So I look forward to seeing you all soon and I hope you have a beautiful day.